What's up boys, so today we're going to um, play the Lava on deck, but before we just get in, i like to really show the Lava on deck that has really brought me some fame, stupid ad. Yeah, this deck actually brought me fame, so this deck on um, Lava and Minor Phoenix, I made this deck, and this deck has like uh, about an 80% win rate, and this Lava Lo Inferno Dragon Valkyrie, this deck is like 80.4%, so today we're going to use this deck and see where we can go in. So, I have got like so much success, and hope you guys can really just be the same so yeah let's hop onto the games okay so hopping onto the first game again this guy and my name is DZ let's see what he does um so basically this deck is like a really a combination of the defense and the offense so you guys have to like play a really really passionate and one thing is that you guys should allow some damages while the others are playing so if they have the archers you have the arrows and if, you have, if they have the phoenix then you can get like um value with the inferno dragons so yeah make sure that you can okay this is going to be a bad matchup since he has the um Expo right there. This is not a great matchup, but we can still try. This guy does have the um Tesla, so we have to see what he does. Um, I'm hoping that Valkyrie can really just clear off. Okay, got one shot, so it's fine. Oh, that was a really bad play. Yeah, I can just say good luck, and yeah, that was a really bad play because I can just do these, and this guy's having some problem right now. Um, all right, it died, but I think it's fine because. This guy now doesn't have anything um, to kind of defend my loon, but yeah, I'll just go for a loon right here because this guy only has the elixir pump, so he may have the archer queen, but I don't think he has, so yeah, let's just go in and this guy, yeah, that, that is going to be at least two shots in the tower, so that was absolutely brilliant on our side. Three shots? Alright, two shots. So you always have to make sure that when you have when you are going to take the damage, you can just take the damage. And when you're facing up against Expo, it's really important to just give your other tower in because you're not gonna go like um, head on hot head matches and with the Expo. If you have like one crown down uh, against the Expo, you can just come back from it, and that's going to help you a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going for the tombstone right here, making sure that the skelly is hit first, and I can just go for a bulk right here. And also I'll just go for the arrows at this position. <laughs> always like make sure that you. Can can arrow something and that's going to help you a lot now I'll just go for the archers because i know that i can defend it um yeah this guy is not going to have a elixir advantage so he's going to have some hard time so he does have the mighty miner which means i can get some advantage out of it okay he's going for, going for the goblins um that's not a bad play and yeah i have to give him my tower so and in this case you just go for a lava in the back and also you can make a big lava on push um i have not like showed him the loon right here so he uh, uh just hear me out so he has the defense of the archers and that's the only defense that he can make for the air card so if we go for this play then there's absolutely no way that this guy can beat us so yeah what we're gonna do is i have to go for the id and also the arrows Okay, that was not a great error because I thought like the ill was going to hit the Valk, but yeah, sometimes it did not work out, so yeah, it does happen. He's going for the archers again, but yeah, that's not bad because um, I do have my elixir advantage, and that loon is actually going to take the tower, so that is going to be a really nice start. And this guy does have some ideas, but yeah, here we go. And we do have the Imperial Dragon, he does have the card out of Psycho, you know, yeah, so I can just go for the arrows right here. He doesn't have the um, E Spirit right now, so perfect arrows coming down, and this guy has to spend something so let's see he's going for the goblins i'll just go for the loon right the loon in the back and also i have to be a little bit careful i'm just going for the tombstone right here because i can't really um get the game into an end if this guy plays like in a great spot and here we go so this is the play that we have to make i cannot really get my tower down from the mighty miner and that's the good game and this was a pretty bad matchup because if we played like um a good player then he would have just went into with the mighty miner and with the other side and if he had like done that he would have won the match but technically he was a really bad player so yeah, let's hop to the next match okay we're facing off against this guy named Bobo Ho oh, he's from Kaz uh yeah I, I cannot pronounce his clan name whatever so yeah let's have a match with him okay he's going for the world ghost so this may be a Pekka Bridge Spam um Pekka Bridge Spam is like actually having the matchup against 70 30 right here so um, you guys have to be a little bit careful. Okay, he, he's going for that, so I'll just go for the ID first. The reason I went with the uh, Inferno Dragon first is that I knew that going with the Inferno Dragon first can really uh, help you with the cycle. And you can just go for the arrows on the um, Fire Cracker. Okay, I'll just go for a Fireball on the Mother Witch. I don't really want my uh, Inferno Dragon to turn into a Piggy. Okay, um... Yeah, it would have been perfect if the Inferno Dragon actually landed on the Tombstone first. Oh god, that's stupid. <laughs> oh no. I'll just go for a Valkyrie, um, yeah, that kind of had some bug, uh, with this position, uh, the Dark Prince won't charge, but 
I think it was kind of bugged out because he's he plays the okay I don't have a spell that can just um go for his other side so yeah pretty unfortunate but yeah I'll just go for it um this play because now I can just pull it back and that hoggy is gonna die um so in my in my really honest opinion the hog rider needs a nerf I, I know that Ian is not going to be um happy but yeah hog rider deserves a nerf anyways that inferno okay that's perfect that is the situation that I wanted to see. Um, this guy is actually on noob, so yeah, we don't have to worry about it that much. I'll go for a Lava Hound in the back. He does have the arrows, so this is not going to be a great matchup. But the problem is that everyone is using the arrows, and everyone thinks that the Lava Hound is dead because uh, arrow can really counter the Lava Hound. But the fact is, it is a counter, but when you play it in a perfect sense, you can actually win this. I'll just go for the Loon because now you do not really have to um, be afraid in these kind of situations. Because what we have is going to be the Infernal Dragon. And he doesn't have anything to reset the Inferno Dragon to be honest. That is the important play. And he actually used the 4 Elixir Mother Witch so he doesn't have enough Elixir for the um, support of the P.E.K.K.A. That is the problem that he's gonna get. And he's going to definitely go for the arrows um, if I'm right. Okay, he's going for that play and I think I'm really fine right here. Okay, he's actually using the um, really interesting play right there. I'm not really spending any Elixir because I know that I can just defend it with the Valkyrie and this is going to be a perfect defense. I'll, also, I'll just go for... Oh no, I missed the arrows. I thought it was going to come a little bit faster, but yeah, sometimes that mistakes ha can happen. <laughs> Pretty fun. <laughs> okay, I'll just go for a Stone of Tomb right here. Perfect Stone of Tomb and this guy has to go in. I'll just go for a Fireball. Now this time, it was perfect. He's going for the arrows on the other side, and that was a really bad play by him now. He's going for that, I, I can just defend it now, I'll just go for the ID right here, and also I can just go for the arrows. He's going for the Hawk, so I have to be ready for the Tombstone. And yeah, this is a pretty good game, and yeah, good game. So, you have to like place the uh, Lava and the Lava Loon in the really um, same spot, so that you can make a big push. Um, when the opponent has the... Um... Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what, what it is. Um, actually this deck is like really bad against the Ejai because Ejai can really counter your ass. Um, if you play perfectly, you can beat the Ejai, but without that, I, I think you guys will probably lose with the Ejai, but it's, it's fine because most likely Classic Challenge is going to be, um, not going to be any Ejais when, when over the 9 win because Ejai players are so dumb that they cannot even beat the 9 win Classic Challenge, so that is what it is, and yeah, he actually spent a really really bad play, so that's going to be at least one shot. Okay, perfect. Now, it's really fine to get one shot because your main goal is to like get one shot and get one get one buy one free extra banter. Anyways, um this guy's okay, I have to go for the ID. I mean, I could have just waited, but yeah, I I did I do really wanted to just like um pay attention to what I was doing. Yeah, if this guy goes for that, I'll just go for a lava on the front because he only has the defense for the um, arrow uh, archers, so he doesn't have the arrow, so which means it's gonna be fine. And I can just go for a bulk right here. He did, he spent so much elixir, and look at this. So he spent even spent the um, archers, and that was a perfect fail. This guy does have the poison or the fireball, I'm not sure, but let's see what he does. That tower is going to be down, so yeah, pretty easy matchup. And I'll just go for a loom right here to make sure that I can get the other tower. He does. He will probably go for the cannon, but that was really bad cannon on his end and look at that infernal dragon just absolutely de demolishing him oh my god yeah this is a really good matchup against him because there's absolutely no way that he can really beat me and perfect place so if he would go for the uh, wall breakers then i can absolutely just beat the shit out of him so if you guys really hate this minor wall breakers deck with the mighty miner Lava is like one of the best decks to counter it. I'll just go for the fireball. Um, I don't really want to end this tower with the um skill, so I'm just going for the no skill mode fully. And yeah, I'll just go for the arrows. I know that I have one uh, fireball left, so it's probably a really easy matchup. I do have three more cards left, so I'll just go for the archers in the back, and also I'll go for the Hialoon right there. You know, I know that he's going to go for the cannon, but who cares? I'll just go for a tombstone uh, on this side so that I cannot really get the damage. And also, I'm just going to end them because. I do want him to suffer, but I may lose. <laughs> I may choke, so I ended his career, and it's really nice because I can just end him, and his suffering continues. 
he did not really get uh, one power, so it's just a great thing for me because uh, wh whatever he had the um, rural pass or not, with no crowns, it's just absolutely a devastating moment. And without the mastery, yeah, it's pretty bad. So we got four wins, and we got more wins to come. So let's hop into the match. So that was a really easy matchup. Uh, what you guys need to expect and what you guys need to be careful is the mighty miner. So mighty miner plus the um, play that can really actually be a little bit dangerous when you're facing up against the same deck, but. If you play it in a perfect sense, you guys will win this. Oh no! Oh wow! <clears throat> um, I was really surprised about something. Um, he had the arrows. Okay, it's fine. But um, this stupid princess tower right here actually targeted the healthier um e bars right there, and I cannot really um think about a better way to describe that power was absolutely stupid motherfucking ass. Anyways, I'm facing up against this guy, so he has the battle healer. E Golem is a really bad matchup because he ha he will have the um e grab to be honest. Yeah, he has the e grab, so this is a horrible matchup. But if you play it like in a perfect sense, you may be able to win this. So yeah, hopefully I I'm, I'm really hoping that you guys can win this. It's a really bad matchup, but you have to play it in a perfect sense. Of course, it's hard. <laughs> Like the wars are really harder than the talking. I'll just go for a balcony here. Um, I was actually hoping that it would just uh, cut off, but it did not happen. I'll just go for the archers right here, making sure that he has to spend something else. Okay, he's going for the arrows. That was a really bad arrows on his end. I'll just go for the loon right here straight because I know that I have some elixir advantage, and this guy, yeah, he has to go. He has to go for that. And I can just defend it with the tombstone. Hopefully that yeah loon lands. And this guy is actually ass. He's an average um. Eagle and player which doesn't have the brain so yeah it's pretty much fun. I can go for the tombstone and this play is like really crucial because if he goes for the E bars in the back, like if he goes for E bars in front then I cannot really defend it so I have to give him the tower but he doesn't have the inferno dragon back so I can just go for a lava hound. Yeah I knew that was gonna happen. I'll just go for a bout right here. He doesn't have the um, arrows back in cycle which means um, my tombstone is actually going to get so much value right here. He spent two cards and yeah I can just go with it. I'm going for the fireball right here. Yes, this is a great fireball. And also I'll just go with the arrows because I really want to make sure. And also I have to go with the Inferno Dragon. Yeah, perfect ID right here to make sure that dies. And he doesn't have the zap, so it's perfect play. And I'll go for the loon right here. I know that he may have the um electro dragon, but it doesn't matter. And yeah, that's a really bad play. So you guys always have to fish out the play. Um which is going to be a e drag. So if you fish out the e, e drag, you can win this match. So I'll just go for tombstone right here in the safe spot because if he goes for the other side with the e bar, that's going to be a little bit pain in the ass because he doesn't have a battery. He's going for the play. So fireball and arrows, perfect play. It did not really um die, but I, I think it's still fine. Now we want the match, and this is how you can beat the eagle. Win. Of course, this is a horrible match. Because when, when you play the e golem, you can just go for the um, Inferno Dragon and save it up for these Lava Loom pushes, but as you know, e golem players have no brain, and let's see where it is. I mean, we gotta see. Um, so this guy was in Challenger 3, 6338. Um, maybe you can just consider quitting Clash Royale and moving on to um, Boom Beach or Heyday, um, or maybe using to... Um, be aware of yourself or maybe commit some horrible things to yourself. Anyways, I'm facing up against this guy named Key Rubin. He's from Guatemala War. Okay, I'll just go for the tombstone and the uh, crucial thing about this tombstone is that it can really be used as a defensive building. So tombstone is like a spawner but it's, it's going to be a best defensive building every time. So yeah, I'm just going for the loon right here and you guys can really use that for the defense. I'm just going for arrows because I really do want to get some shots. Okay, he's going for the golden knight. That was a really bad golden knight on this end. Is he going to use the ability? Okay, he doesn't. Um, I could have like waited for the baby D to come up but... Yeah, I did not because um, I knew that the Valkyrie placement right there would probably just kill everything, and it just did. So we got 1000 damage ahead of him, and he does have a Elixir of Bantis right here because I just went in with the Loon uh, itself, so... Okay, I'll just go for a Lava in the back, and also I'll just go for a Tombstone right here. A oh, really good placement of the Tombstone is this place because um, when, when others are going to use the... Um, what should I call it? Uh, Skelly Barrel. So Skelly Barrel is going to be a pretty much pain in the ass for you guys, so... If, if they play in that position, you can just kill it with the um, tombstone in that position. Okay, I'll just go for arrows right here. I know that this, this can be a little bit risky, but yeah, the play that I really made is because I really wanted that to just 
get the Phoenix and the everything. Yeah, baby D is going to die. Hopefully that dies, please. Okay, that was perfect. If that would have survived, I would have been in some trouble, but it doesn't happen. I'm just going for the Valk right here. Hopefully that doesn't dash. Ah, perfect. Golden Knight is like one of the worst cards that you can you have to deal with in these matchups. Um, this guy has the matchup because he has the Phoenix and the um, Baby D that can really counter my Lava Hound and the Lava Loom push. But you know, Classic Challenge has a below average players when like in the six wins or four wins or you know, something like that. So uh, when we go up, there's going to be some hard counters and hard matchups, but. When we are here, it's probably really fine, and I can just go for Tombstone right here. The reason I went with this is because I thought he would just go for that, and I could have just saved my tower, but yeah, it did not happen. I'll just go for Loom right here. Perfect Loom play, because I know that this is going to save us, and I have to go with the arrows. I know that his Phoenix is not back in... Okay, his Phoenix is back in cycle. <laughs> what was I talking about? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, that's going to be two shots, so it's going to be tower down. And I have to be careful about what he does, because he may just go in with the another shot of the coin. So I'll just go for the Infernal Dragon right here to make sure that he doesn't. And I have to make sure, so I'll go for the Valkyrie right here. So MK and the Golden Knight is a really good matchup for him because if he like goes in in the point where I do not have the Inferno Dragon that he's going to win but I don't know if he realized but this was a really easy matchup um, for him but he actually failed to win so yeah great day for us and 6 wins with no losses. Uh, one thing is that I do like commentary like every single time because I do not really want to show you guys the replays. Anyone can show you the replays and like tell you that, hey, hi, hi, I want one like this and uh, this is what you guys have to do. But in the live commentary, you have to just like talk and think about what you have to do in these kind of situations. So it's pretty hard, but I think it's much more better for you guys because um, it's actually going to show you why I made this play like for real and how I made this play. That's going to be like a great um, educational thing. And you can actually learn from the live gameplay. We do not really want to watch replays or something, right? So, any exceptions, like when we're facing off like, the CRL like 20 wins or something like that, I always prefer in the um, place for the live comments. Okay, so this guy doesn't have the Inferno Tower, so that is going to be one shot. Yeah, he actually misplaced the um, Princess right there. He should have placed the Princess on the other side so that he can just snipe it. That was a really bad play by him. I think I should go for the ID because most likely he's going to protect with the prince. So if he goes, if he would have like went for the prince, I could have just go for the. Okay, that's that's not a great play. He's going to yeah. Oh, I thought that was going to be a middle. So actually, I wanted to kill two like here in this position with the Valk. And this is going to be like the caused by the tower. So I I kind of just uh, did a little bit of mistake. I'll just go for the archers. I don't know what he has, but he may have the um. What should I say? Yeah, fireball right there. Yeah, I knew that he was he would have had the fireball because um when you guys actually saw him what he did um he actually spent a lot of elixir trying to defend the loon itself. So he actually spent about like seven elixir. So I knew that he doesn't have the rocket back because um he actually spent about eight cars in there and. That was not going to be great for him. So I have to wait. Now in these situations where there's a bridge princess, you guys really want to just say, and hey, let's just get in boy. But no, we have to wait for the timing. He doesn't have any air counters right now. So he's going for that. And I can just go for the fireball right here. Perfect fireball because I know what he's going to do. And if that is like the case, yeah, he's, he's dead. I mean, he's dead. So this is what you have to do. You guys have to wait until the arrows are there so that you can kill the princess and the um, band. Uh, it's not the bandit. What should I call rascals? Rascals, yeah. So he only has two air defenses, as you guys can see. He doesn't have the arrows. He doesn't have anything back in cycle. So the only thing that he can do was that. But yeah, if he cannot do that, we're going to win this match. Yeah, I think he gave up, so this is going to be the win number 7. That's pretty perfect, I mean, I kind of just played it like perfectly because uh, the damage is damage and the deal dealing is the dealing, so we cannot really get him with the 3 crown, but whatever. Um, I think we can get, get him with the 3 crown. Perfect. So, 7 wins and 0 losses. When you're facing up against that deck, it is going to be like in 2 Brian. so... Um, let me just show you guys this deck. 
This is the deck that is currently in the meta. I saw a lot of these decks in the classic challenge, so it has a fireball version and with the tombstone, but uh, most likely it's going to be like, I'm going to show you guys what the deck should be. Um, yeah, golden clone. No, no, I have to use golden clone in some places. Anyways, um, this is going to be the first deck and with the rocket and not the tombstone, it's actually going to be like no spell or something, but it's going to be a log. Where's the log? Where's the log? Oh no. Yeah, yeah, the log. And that's going to be, I, don't, I can't really remember fully, but that's going to be Inferno Dragon or, I don't know, Inferno Tower or maybe a cannon or maybe a Dark Goblin. It has some kind of variance, but most likely it's going to be Rocket. So Rocket is going to be like the um, counter to the Loon plus the Lava play because if you use the um, arrows on this, then they're going to just spam this Princess and Rascal so you guys can really lose. But hoping that you guys can really learn from your mistakes and to just wait for others to play. So if they place the same uh, lane with the Princess and the Rascals, you guys can actually just kill it with it. So yeah, you can just beat this. Okay, I'm facing up against this guy in AT ATS Comic Club tonight. This guy is going to play the... Um, Okay, he's playing different deck. I was going to say that he's going to play the deck of e -barbs Because I actually faced him in classic challenges like yesterday. I cannot remember his um, deck fully, but I thought it was. That was a really bad play by him. Only one shot by the muskie and he really got a lot of damage right there. So, um, the point is that he's going to use the golem, if I suppose. It's not going to be a great matchup against this um, golem deck. He, I hope I'm hoping that he doesn't have the um, arrows. Oh shit! Okay, I'm in a big trouble right now. Um, if he has the zap, then I'm dead. But hoping that he doesn't have it, I'll just go for a loon right uh, arrows right here. Uh, I'll just go for the tombstone because yeah, that was absolutely a little bit of a desperation play. Um, I'm just going for the fireball. He used three elixirs, so I think four is like really fine. Um, I cannot really counter the um, Buskey, but yeah, look at this. So skeletons are going to do some damage right there, and that's actually a lot of damage. I did like 700 damage with the almost dead Inferno Dragon, and Skelly's actually did like 300 damage, so that is why you shouldn't underestimate the Skelly. Anyways, this guy is a great player. I kind of just thought, thought that he would just use a different deck, but yeah, whatever. Um, okay, he's going for that. Now, what you have to do is go for the archers right here, and also go for a Valkyrie right here, to make sure that he has to spend this uh, ability. Okay, doesn't, so it's pretty much fine. I could have just, like, gone with the... Uh, what should I say? Um, yeah, uh, Night Witch, but yeah, I did not really place that, because if he would have went in with the Muskie, then it's not going to be a great thing for us. And I can just go for Tombstone right here, making sure that if he uses the... yeah. Freeze, he still has to deal with the, some skeletons. And I'm just going for a lava on right here. This guy's a really bad player, so yeah, he has to spend like his musketeer or something. I'm just going for the loon right here. Now, the, the reason why I go with this loon is because the loon is actually going to get a lot of damage right here, and I'm pushing it with the back. And I'm also going to use the arrows because that's going to be a little bit of pain in the ass. And I can just go for the tombstone right here. Perfect tombstone, making sure. And I can just go for the archers right here in this placement. So I'm going for the archers in this kind of placement is really nice. And I can just go for a bow. I mean, I'm, I'm okay. Three crowns. Um, yeah, I was not looking at the king tower to be honest, but he actually went all in and he did not defend it and he lost the match. So pretty interesting game and pretty easy matchup. So we got eight wins and let's just hop on to the next match. Okay, I'm facing off against this guy. Um, I think he's Chinese or maybe Taiwanese or maybe Japanese. Um, we are not using the Chinese letter in most of the situations in Korea. So, yeah, I think I, I assume there's going to be like three out of one. Okay, he's going for the um, Lumberjack. So, it's not going to be a great matchup, but I'll just go for a Tombstone right here. If he has the a Bowler Loon, 100 and 0, but other than that, I think it's kind of beatable matchup with the Lava um, Loon right here. Okay, I'm just going for the Loon right here. The reason why is because that Archer is like in a little bit of a horrible moment. Yeah, I'll just go with the Fireball because uh, my Archer's actually got one shot. Oh, wait, oh, can he? Ah, this is a bad matchup. Yeah, he's going to bridge spam and this is impossible matchup. Yeah, this is so bad matchup that uh, he can't really close his eyes and win this matchup. So, yeah, hoping that I can win. Um, I don't think I can, but yeah, let's try. Um, 
The reason why this matchup is so hard is because he has the yeah everything down on the ground while only have the ground units as the Valkyrie and the Archers. If I use the Tombstone as a defense of the Bandit and it's going to be like yeah absolutely horrible because he has the Ram Rider and the Snowball is like absolutely a great factor that can really help him. Nobody uses the Snowball other than that deck, so I should have at least thought about it, but I was kind of lazy and did not. Th okay, that's going to be a loon. Um, I should have went with the other side because if I would have, then that was going to be so much value. I'm not going with anything because I know that this is going to be great. And like not going in with the play is like crucial to us. And I have to wait. Tombstone coming down. This guy will probably just go with his arms. Um, okay, knew that was going to happen. So Inferno Dragon right here, and also the Balk, the perfect, please, okay perfect, it did not die, yeah, that is what I wanted to see, so I thought like he was going for the, um, Electro Wizard, oh sorry for that, um, Electro Wizard, so I thought like, hey, if he's going for the Electro Wizard, then I can just like save my ass for something, and he does have the, what should I say, going for the Tombstone, Arrows coming down. Okay, not bad. Okay, that is bad. That's so much damage. That is why I hate the minions. Okay, okay, we have to we have to chill. Chill, 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 chill. Yeah, chill. Okay. Snowball coming in. Doesn't have enough elixir. Go for the tombstone right here. I have to go for the tombstone. He does have the yeah EQ, but that's not gonna be enough. But here we go with the Inferno Dragon again. And this guy's in big trouble. Arrows coming down. Two shots, perfect. Now he has to go in. Okay, Balk. Oh my god, I won this match. This guy deserves a BM. He, he played really stupidly. And this guy deserves a BM. Anyways, we had the 9 wins, so 3 more games and we're going to have another Classic Challenge dub. I really like Classic Challenge because we can just uh, increase our skills like playing some different decks and different archetypes so that you can have a large deck pool and you can actually um, avoid a lot of snipes when you're in the scrim. So whatever, I'm just facing up against this guy in Blue Day, he's from Goodfellas. Okay, I, I hope that he's uh, kind of a gentleman, so I do not really PM him for the matchup. Okay, that's going to be a really bad matchup right here. So. Uh, pick up Rich Bam is actually a horrible matchup for us, but one thing is that um, if he has the pick up back, I can just go for the Valkyrie and the Inferno Dragon. He's going to go for his signature stupid decks. Oh, that was actually a great play by him. Yeah, go for the Fireball right here so that making sure that's going to be a lot of damage. Okay, he actually spent this zap right there, so I can just go with the Archers. This is the play that I actually wanted. The reason why is because if he goes for that. And I can just go for arrows right here, making sure that I finish everything. And that was actually a really nice play by us, because if he um, would have been with it with some other things, such as the um, zap on the tombstone, he would have got like my tower. So I want that uh, he would just spend this zap on the Inferno Dragon, so it was actually perfect. And it turned out to be the best. I'll go for the lava one right here, because I don't really want to go with the other side. Um, if he goes for the um, P.E.K.K.A in the front, I can just, oh, uh, he's going for that, so I'll go for the tombstone right here. It's a great placement. I could have just placed it a little bit below, but I really want to play safe. And the reason why is because I'm going for the, um, yeah, that play. Okay, I have to be a little bit careful. If this guy goes for something else, I can, yeah, maybe let it happen. I'll just go for a fireball on the magic archer it's really important to go for the fireball on the magic archer at like every single time he's going to use the poison on the defense so that's not going to be an ideal play for him but have to be a little bit careful right now i'm just going for a valkyrie right here oh yeah perfect valkyrie to kill everything and this guy does have the uh evis back in cycle so i have to be a little bit careful i'm going for the archers in the back and i'm also going for the tombstone right here to make sure that he has to spend something else okay he's going for that now what I'm gonna do is going to place the lava on right here so that I can get the damage and I'll go for a loon. Now this is a really important play. If I go with the loon and I can go with the fireball right here to make sure and he has to spend this yet. He has to spend something else so look at this. So I'm going for the tombstone as a defense and perfect defense right there coming down. He doesn't have the zap so he does have to spend something else and yeah, I cannot really just... Okay, I have to spend the Valk right here. Perfect Valkyrie, and... Oh no. Arrow's coming down. 
yeah, perfect. So I won this match. Um, he actually sniped me pretty well, but that was a bad game. That was a bad play by him. Um, one thing he could have done, like to beat me, is that he goes for the Pekka on the other side, and I pulled out the Inferno Dragon, and he has to use the Zap on the Inferno Dragon and wait for the Tombstone. If that happens, he would have won the match. But yeah, there was a below average player, so many, <laughs> so many below average players. Anyways, I'm facing up against this guy in Big King, so he does have the um, Sparky with the Goblin Giant. I don't know, but. This is not going to be a great matchup because Sparky is actually going to get like at least one shot every single match, so not going to be great. But yeah, it's going for Sparky. Um, one thing about the Sparky is that you do not really know how to play it. Um, you guys always have to like trust these Sparky users. They are horrible. Like they think they are good, but in reality, they're not. Yeah, it's going for that. I'll just go for the Stone of Plume right here. Oh shit. Uh, this is a really, really bad spot right here. And I'll just go for the Archers right here. Uh, the reason why I'm going with the Archers right here is because I know that my tower is going to be down. So, at least I have to get some out of it. I don't know what he has, but if he has the Phoenix, then I'm dead. Oh no. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> this is a 100 little matchup. My Infern Dragon was in the card number level 8, and I cannot defend it with the um, pushes, and he has the Minion Horde. So this is a horrible matchup, like 100 and 0, but um, we have to think about it. So he actually got 5 Elixir advantage right out of the gate, and he does have the Zap and the, uh, the Bini P, so it's going to be a horrible matchup, but we still have to try. Um, sometimes. When you're in the bad spot, you still have to try, right? You can't just give up and say like, Hey, I fucking lost this match and... Oh, this is 100... This is 1000 and all right here. Yeah, this is just too much. Um, I honestly think this... Oh, what? 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 How did that ID die? Yeah, this is 1000 and all. Anyways, sometimes these matchups can happen. You cannot beat this because Inferno Dra uh, Dragon was in the back and you cannot do anything, but whatever. It's just one loss. You guys have to say, like, when they are giving me 100 and no matchups, like, every single time, uh, you have to think, like, okay, I'm just gonna lose one match and gonna win two matches in a row, and then I can get the 12 win. You have to be a little bit passionate, a little bit better about yourself. Um, you do not really always have to follow the Super Souls orders and gonna say, like, oh no, what about, oh shit. Okay, this is a this is crossing the line now. Okay, this is pretty much crossing the. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Where are you? Oh my god! My archers! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I don't think I placed it in the wrong position. The archers just betrayed me and went to the other side, like, hey, fuck this, I'm out. Oh god, archers are doing a little bit of revenge on me. <laughs> okay, now, what is going to happen is that I have to give him this tower, so we have to go for a two crown game. Okay, I'll just go for a lava in the back and I have to give him the tower. He's going to go for the other side. Yeah, he's going to go for the other side. It, it, yeah, he spent that, so I'm just here to like uh, kill everything, and that's going to be the job. Let's hope, hope. Um, yeah, that is down, but still fine. I know why, and yeah, I'll just go with the archers. Hopefully, he doesn't have the arrows. Uh, I know that he has the bar, but so a uh, bar barrel. Sorry. Oh no! Don't die. Ice golem. Oh, I should have went for the Valkyrie with the play, but yeah, I think I'm done. I lost two games in a row because of the starting end, to be honest. Uh, this was absolutely because of the starting end. If we had the better starting end, I think I could have won, but yeah, it was absolutely horrible. Anyways, um, the Muskie is going to get so much value out of every single time. If I use the arrows on the bats, that's going to be alive. So, uh, no, no, don't go in front. Please, please, no. Okay, okay, it's not that bad. We're back. Okay, it's not that bad. Okay, arrow's coming down. And also I have to use this. One shot, please. 
Okay, okay, one shot, one shot. One shot, we are not dead yet, yeah, please, please, please. Yeah, just target on, target on. Please finish it, finish it, please. Finish that off, finish that off, please. Oh, come on, I cannot just... No. No, this is not right. Tombstone, tombstone, stone, tombstone. To okay, that's, that, that's tower, that's tower. That's how we tower. We're back, we're back in this game. Yeah, we're back in this game. Oh, God. Oh, my God. We're back in this game. Don't choke, don't choke, do not choke, alright, do not choke. Okay, he's going for the snowball, he has two more cars left. Yeah, for the loon, here we go. Now, here he comes down. Yeah, I'm not using that right now. To go for the tombstone right here to at least get some time. No, 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 no! No! Oh my god, I lost. I lost this game. Let's go, let's go. He does, he will go for the last piece of effort. Here we go. No! Oh my god! Oh, I should have won this match. Oh. The horrible starting it and the revenge of the archers caused me the loss. Oh god. Sometimes I play like this in the live <laughs> broadcast. Um, yeah, I kind of sucks in the live, but yeah, sucks to be me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm facing off against another Lumberjack. Lumberjack 3 in a row is pretty much a really interesting position, but Supercell is giving the Lumberjack 3 in a row because I lost to the Lumberjack. Like, I ah, am yeah, not the Lumberjack, but the Rage. Uh, based on the Rage cars, it's just horrible the, how, how they get the matchups. Phoenix comes down, so uh, we have to be a little bit careful about the Phoenix. Where's my Inferno Dragon? Always in the back. Always not where, where I want. Okay, he spent everything. He spent everything. He spent actually 8 elixir and he does have nothing to defend against it. Please. Ah, this. Oh god. This is too much. Yeah, this is. What? Oh. Oh wow. The baby D actually got the shot um, on the tower. Okay, okay. Um, RG and the lightning and has the cage, fish boy, baby D, phoenix. Um, I, I have to talk to Super. So if you're going to give me the counter, then give me a proper one, like. This is a million and oh matchup. If this guy somehow loses this matchup, he should really quit his life. I mean, I'm talking it for real. He should commit some suicide or maybe he should like um quit his life for real, but yeah, this is what it is. Um how can I even beat this matchup? If you guys have any ways that I can just lose this, please let me know. Oh no, that actually got the shot again. Okay, that was a really bad pull by him. I have to go for the Inferno D right there on top, and I have to go for the Lava right- Oh shit, that's not damage? Why am I always getting the damage while he's- <sighs> Come on, this is just too much, right? Right? Yeah, I don't think so. Supercell has other thinking. Supercell has other ways. They're gonna say, hey, you lost the match, it's because of your fault, man. Fuck. Please survive. Please sur oh shit! Oh shit, I mean, how? Why can you never survive in this raid? Yeah, I have to go with the Balk. I have to make a front play. And that fish boy is going to pull the Balk if nothing happens. Fireball comes down. Hoping that, yeah, we can get it. And perfect play. One shot. Okay, one shot. One shot comes in. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Play, play passionately. Play passionate. Tombstone, tombstone, tombstone. Tombstone. Oh, Inferno D, Inferno D. He doesn't have to. He cannot lightning this. Obey this ratio. Here we go. He has to lightning this right now. Let's see. Lightning comes down. Not lightning, but yeah, have to be a little bit careful. Um, yeah, be careful right now. And go for a fireball. A perfect fireball right there. And I can kill that. And I'll just. I just have to go with the loon. I have to Inferno Dragon ready. And. Okay, I'll just go for our church and also the tombstone. Oh god. Have to go in. Please, 
Please, that, that damage, is that enough? Oh, that's enough. God, how did he even lose this match? Yeah, this loser lost this match, and... Oh my god. So, 11 wins, and finally we were almost back into coffin. Oh god. Okay, I'm facing off against this guy named Sand. Uh, okay, that's from Shrekshin. Shrekshin clan is like maybe the top um, 20 clan in the entire world, so it's pretty bad to face against the players like that. Oh! What a miss! What a miss! Here we go! Mishio! <laughs> Mishio, here we go. <laughs> he does have the arrows uh, archer, so we have to be a little bit careful. Okay, I'm not gonna use my. Yeah, perfect. He spent another elixir on the um, knight. No, no, don't come right. What the fuck are you doing? That. that Infernal Dragon is the least uh, smartest unit in the entire world, I and mean, that is just fucking stupid. Why are you coming for the side? I just cannot understand this. What is Clash Royale Roger? Oh no 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 no. Archer's coming down. I come in. Come on baby, come on. Okay, perfect. Wow, that loon actually did a lot of damage. That's actually a fireball plus the arrows range, so the only thing we have to do is to defend perfectly. Well, it's really hard to get it. <laughs> it's really hard to pull off, but we'll try. Tombstone, Inferno Dragon. Know that he has something else, so he, if he goes for the arrows right there, the archers, and I can just finish him off. You always have to make sure, and you always want to make sure that you can get the perfect timing the perfect damage i have to be sure and i have to make sure that the archers are going to get the arrows value you cannot arrows the goblins oh my god this this it oh this guy gave up this guy actually gave up and this is the 12 win life boys make sure to bm this guy i know that i have the matchup but i just want to damn it i just want to Ah, shit, 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 shit. Got him. Pretty easy matchup. Boom. Three crowns. That's the dub for the 12 win, and that is going to be number 398 classic challenge 12 wins. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this game. Um, I really did. Um, unless like in these two games, I really <laughs> enjoyed this games. Beside of this. Perfect, no legendaries. And where's my classic challenge badge? Why did I set it up like that? Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's 398, so thank you guys for watching. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye.